G'day guys, welcome back. I've got enough room to wave. <laughs> How are you doing? Thanks for joining me. Now today, I'm going to do something I haven't actually done before. A little bit of what I have done before and a little bit of something else I've done before, but I haven't put them both together. So, pearl pour. Do you like the pearl pours? Where you get your colour in the middle and then you get your pearls around the outside. So I'm going to do that. Like normally I would layer my colours in a cup and then do a ring pour, but I thought I'm going to use a split cup. So that's what I'm going to do. Now, this is my this is my little cheat sheet. I'll come up here and show it to you and you can take a little snapshot if you want to. So pearl pour, 30 by 40 centimetre canvas. That's 12 by 16 inch. My black is Floetrol, one ounce. Artist Loft Black, one ounce, five grams of water. Put your scale onto grams. It's much easier than trying to convert it. And then I've got three colours. And they're 30 grams of Floetrol, Liquitex Basics, 15 grams, and water, five grams. And then down the bottom is my Metallic, which is my Deco Art. 30 grams of Floetrol, 30 grams of Deco Art. So that's it. So hope you all got a little snapshot of that one. That's what I use. And I find that that little recipe works really well for me. If you haven't got the same, you know, brand of paints as me, or maybe you haven't got the Australian Flow Troll. Um, Australian Flow Troll is thinner. So if you've got the US one or the Owa Troll, you'll have to add more water. But just, that's a guide for you, okay? Just have a play and um, see how you go. I think the silver is a little bit thicker than the, the gold as well. Um, and then other colours like the pink or the um, turquoise in the Deco Art Extreme Sheen, they seem to be a little bit thinner. So I'm hoping this one works. I, I haven't done one of these for so long. Okay, so my black is the Artist Loft. This blue one here is the Liquitex Basics Light Blue Permanent. And then the pinky one here, which is pretty much empty now, is medium magenta. And then the yellow is the cadmium yellow light. So that's what I've done. And then, of course, the silver for the pearls is the Deco Art Extreme Sheen in silver. So that's it. So I'm going to layer these. Well, I'm not going to layer them. I'm going to pour those into there. So leaves a mound, probably similar to what I would do for a flip cut pour. So let's start, hey? Put the black in there. And then the blue next to it. I just thought this might be fun, just, you know, keeping the colours away from each other a little bit for a ring pour. I haven't really done like a proper ring pour for a while. It's always been like on a spinner or, um, you know, pearls or whatever, but I would like to get back into my ring pours. I want to do a waterfall pour. I haven't done one of those for a very long time. I've seen other people do them recently, but um, I, yeah, I haven't, I need to get back to, get back to my roots, I think, and do my original waterfall pours. If you don't know what they are, it's Basically, you're holding your canvas up on an angle while you pour and the paint runs down. You get really pretty effects from that. Kind of like a wandering pour as well. But um, you don't have to move your hand. The canvas is on an angle, so the paint just flows down. I don't know if those of you that have been following me for a long time will have seen my double waterfall pour that I did. That was quite a while ago now, hey? So yeah, I wouldn't mind getting back to those. Now, I've never done a pearl pour with the split cup, so we shall see what happens. Hopefully, I'll get a good effect. It might not work because the black's only on one side. <laughs> oh, so, I don't know. We'll find out together, I guess. Right, so with the, with the um, pearl pour, you need to put your metallic down in the center like so this is just a pre-used canvas i've got a lot of pre-used canvases that i think i'll use again this was looks like a jiggle pour by the looks of it with maybe some cloud 
mix in there, not quite sure. But I was looking for a canvas to use and I thought, yep, don't love this painting. Let's just go over it. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Right. This is exciting. Are we ready? <clears throat> I'll come down this side so you can see the paint coming out. Are we still taping? Yes, we're still taping. All right, here we go. Change. All my blacks on the one side. Change. Just trying to change the direction just so we don't get like a big block of colour on the one side. Right, now that I need to slow down a little bit because the cup is emptying. Still getting a lot of the yellow on the one side. I guess that's because I had the yellow on the one side and I had the black on the other side. So hopefully it'll still work. Hopefully. Because normally you get a lot of black on your canvas and um, you know the pearls pop up through the black. So I don't know how it's going to work with pearls popping up through yellow. It might not work at all. This might be a total flop. Catch the drip like so. If you need to, <clears throat> like if you've made a little wiggly tail or something, you can just very carefully go around just to make your centre more centred. All right. Oh my gosh. I'm just a bit worried about all this yellow here. I wonder if I can put a little bit of black just there. It's probably just going to all roll off anyway maybe next time I need to um and yes there'll be a next time <laughs> layer maybe like two maybe put some yeah maybe I could put black in the bottom of all of them of all the chambers and then put the colors on top we'll see what happens yeah just see what happens all right that's enough that's all my paint gone gone skis right I'm going to go this side first. Love that. Wow. All right. So the, what you need to do with the ring pour. Oh, my gosh. I haven't got my lines out. Let me just do that real quick. I don't know where to put the canvas back. Hopefully you guys are still in frame. Oh, yeah. Not too bad. All right. So with the pearl pour, we need to go over one corner, come back. Over one corner, come back. Over one corner, come back. And the same. And, oh, look, we're getting pearls already. Yay. All right, let's go this way. Um, yep, yeah, go over. Come back. It's the rubbing of the paint that will give you your pearls. I'm going to go over this way. And back. And over this way. Hopefully there's some silver underneath this and back oh, oh my gosh it's um it's very yellow <laughs> oh, oh let's hope it works loving that pink and turquoise and yellow together all right here we go off to the last corner certainly doesn't look like my traditional pearl pores with such a lot of black so yeah don't know if it's gonna work or not Come on, off you go. Make sure you don't put too much paint on your canvas, you guys. Otherwise, it's too thick and your pearls won't pop through. I think a lot of people have that trouble. They leave too much on the surface. Now, I'm just going to bring this back to the centre. Bring the weight of the paint back to the centre. Alrighty, there we go. Now, let me get my torch and see if this is going to work. I'm not that confident because, you know, I've done something different. It's always the way, isn't it, when you try something different? 
think, oh, I don't know if it's going to work or not. Let's take some time to heat your paint. See, there's no black over here, so I don't know that I'm going to really get the the right effect because there's no black for the pearls to pop through. We'll just have to wait and see what happens. Getting pearls along the outside. They're only little, which is making me think that my silver was a little bit on the, the thick side. But if it's too thin, they pop up and they go all kind of wobbly and misshaped. And I don't like that either, so I kind of prefer them to be a little bit thicker and smaller and better shaped. I'll keep giving it some heat. I don't really want to torch too much in the middle. I only really want the pearls to pop up along the outside. Look, we, oh, look, we're getting some there, but yeah, they're really small. But um, <clears throat> I'll put you on pause and I'll come back in like half an hour because it does change. They do keep growing, so you know, don't be too concerned if they're not all popping up at once. Just keep heating your paint, don't burn it. Just keep heating it gently, and uh, we'll come back and see what it's going to do in, in half an hour or so. But at least we are getting pearls, which is yay! excited about that but yeah a lot of yellow also the corner that you tilt off last won't have as many pearls as the rest it, it's just the way it is and I knew that I wasn't going to get much through the yellow anyway so I chose to do that one last so that I could have my pearls around there Oh, it's looking really pretty. Actually, if you stand here where I am and look up, the colours are just amazing. All right, so I'm going to um, give it a little bit more of a torch just over the next few minutes. And I will put you on pause. So I can see some more little tiny ones popping through there. Look at that. And you've got to make sure that your black's not too thick either. Otherwise, the pearls can't come up through the black. It's just a, a matter of trial and error, really. If you're new to this particular technique, you know, don't do anything too big. Start on, I'm just taking my gloves off. Start on um, little canvases. Try my recipe. If it doesn't work, change it. Make it thicker, make it thinner. Just, yeah, just experiment. All right, let's get you down. If you stand this way, look at that. That's the way I was standing. I was thinking, oh, that's definitely the way. It needs to be hung it's really really pretty colors but as you can see it's not a lot of pearls there's some around the outside there <laughs> I've never done one that's so bright normally it's just like totally black with a little bit of color in the center but um, all right I will come back to you in about I don't know 15 20 minutes or so and um, we'll see how it's changed back soon Hey guys, what do you think? It's only been about 10 minutes, but um, yeah, it's looking really nice. Really quite happy. Actually, now that I look at it, I actually really like that section down there that's got a little bit of negative space. It's got that yellow um, and the pink has made it like an orange. And then the yellow and the turquoise have made like this green up here. So we're getting really pretty colors. Yeah, really happy with it. Hope you guys like it. Let's go down and have a little quick look. So we have still got some pearls that have popped up all along the edge here and there are some more smaller ones in here so they may grow as well but um, I need to finish the video because I've got things that I have to go and do today. Look at this corner, this is really pretty this corner. You see how the cells, well they're not cells but <laughs> the, the pearls they kind of stayed separate. I, I like that and then over here on the edges um, they're kind of more close together but 
they they're still nicely shaped like sometimes if you have your mix too too thin um, they all just kind of blend into each other so I'm really happy with this you can see how they're all stayed separate look at the colors there look at that it's just amazing it's like some volcanic eruption looking thing I don't know it's really pretty I love it look at the bits of blue through the black and then the little bits of pink there through the, the silver so pretty look at the blending really like it really happy with the way it's turned out let me know what you think of it do you want to see this again in different colors maybe that's how I would hang it up that way I think that looks really pretty love it so happy it turned out I was worried there for a minute because I hadn't done it for so long all right love you and leave you I've uh, got things to do places to go people to see but I will see you for the next video so see you soon bye for now